Greetings everyone, Kurt Hoffbeck, field agronomist here just east of Beersford, South Dakota. The date is June 12th and we've just caught our first adult soybean gall midge. So let's take a look at the traps and we'll show you what we're finding. So let's take a look at one of the adult soybean gall midge traps here. We got this placed in uh, Union County, just east of Beersford. We've got about uh, six different traps in the field. We place them in corn, last year's beans, bean crop, because that's where they're overwintering and coming out of the soil. So today's June 12th, they've emerged out of the soil. We've been collecting them in these jars above the traps. And as we zoom in on some of those that I've collected, way in the bottom there, you can see some uh, adult midge. They've got kind of orange bellies and, and uh, striped black and white legs. So that's what we're collecting here today. So now that we've caught some adult soybean gall midge, let's talk about management options. If you have a history of soybean gall midge pressure on your fields, I'd recommend spraying as soon as you are able a bifenthrin insecticide. Spray your corn field borders as well as your soybean field borders and use plenty of water to get good coverage at 15 to 20 gallons per acre. You can also consider mowing your ditches to reduce the availability of mating grounds for the adult gall midge. That concludes this Pioneer Agronomy video podcast. Visit our page on pioneer.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook for more agronomy insights.